Hello again and welcome to the shed, man shed, and uh, you're very, 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 very welcome. Eighty years ago, almost, a man came back from Germany. He was the Prime Minister in the UK and he said, in my breast pocket I've got a piece of paper signed by the German Chancellor that means peace in our time. And everybody cheered. Uh, the German Chancellor had signed this piece of paper and his foreign minister, the German foreign minister, said to him, that was a big mistake. You should never have signed that piece of paper. To which the Chancellor replied, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, it doesn't mean a thing. Oh, and of course, it turned out that he, he, he meant that. He didn't mean it at all. And in fact, that piece of paper that the Prime Minister held dear to him in his breast pocket um, wasn't really worth the paper it was written on. That peace agreement wasn't really worth it. Didn't mean it at all. Forty years ago, uh, in a little church in South Wales, uh, a couple were leaving Ireland, uh, leaving Wales to come to Ireland. And there was a farewell service. An elderly gentleman who had been a missionary for many years in Central America came up to the man and said to him, I have a piece of paper. I want to give it to you. And this piece of paper has been very precious to me over many, many years. And it's true. I can say I have proved it in my life. So I'm going to give you this piece of paper that uh, has a message on it for you as you go to Ireland. So the man took it and he put it in his Bible. And I want to share it with you today, this piece of paper. It's called The Three Mys. And the first my is, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. It's taken from the book of Exodus in the Bible, chapter 33, verse 14. And the situation was that uh, the, the children of Israel were crossing from Egypt in the west, a place of slavery for them, and they were traveling east to the promised land, to their inheritance. And on this journey, they stopped for a while at a place called Sinai, and uh, it was now time to move on. But they, they really didn't want to move on, and they had lots of complaints, there was lots of moans and groans along the way. And uh, Moses came to God and he said, Lord, what am I going to do? And it's that lovely verse in Exodus chapter 33 where Moses spoke to God face to face as a man speaks to his friend. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Possible for Moses to have this relationship with God. He spoke to him like a friend and he said to him, Lord, what am I going to do with these people? They, they are so difficult to, to, to lead. Uh, Lord, who are you going to send with me? Like, I, I don't really want to leave this place un, unless I have help. And then God gave him this promise. Moses, I'm going to go with you. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And you might say, oh, well, yeah, but Moses was Moses was a very special kind of guy, you know, and perhaps it was true for him. But is it true for me? Is it true for the Christian? Is it true for the believer? Well, we come into the New Testament, of course, and we find the words there in Hebrews where the Lord says to us, to every child of God, listen, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And, and that is true for everybody. So that first my, yes, we can take that to heart as well. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. The second my is my grace is sufficient for you. 
the situation here was uh, Paul was saying to the Lord, Lord, I've got this problem. And he came to God three times and he said, Lord, just, just take away this problem, please. And he's put it on record there in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, where he says, and God's reply to him was, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you in this situation. In fact, Paul, my strength is made perfect in your situation. My strength is made perfect in your weakness, in, in your problem. My strength is all that you need. So that's the second my, what my presence, no, my grace. And, and again, you might say to me, yeah, but Paul, well, he, was a, he was an apostle. I mean, is it true for everyone? Yes, I'll come back to that verse again in Hebrews chapter 13, where he says, I, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And then he goes on to say, why should I be fearful? Why should I be anxious? Uh, the Lord is my helper. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my helper. And so that's a second promise that's for us. My grace is sufficient. And then the third my is this. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in, in Christ Jesus. My God shall supply. My supply. This is found in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And uh, the situation there was the Philippian church uh, had been very good to Paul. They'd supported him. They were behind him. Uh, they gave to him uh, their gifts. And Paul is writing back and he is saying, listen, thank you so much for your kindness. It's a joy to be part of your fellowship. And then he, he says this, you have given to me, but I, I want to reassure you that my God is going to supply you a need too. He's going to look after you. And he's going to look after you according to his riches in glory, not out of them. See, if I... If somebody gave you a, a little gift out of their vast wealth, you'd say, well, that was out of their wealth. But if they gave you a big gift, you'd say, oh, that's, that's according to the fact that they are a wealthy person. And God is saying, I will supply all your needs according to my infinite resources in Christ Jesus. So there's the three mys. This piece of paper different to that first piece of paper that I mentioned. The first piece of paper it wasn't worth the paper it was written on. And in 12 months, you could see quite clearly that he didn't mean it and there was war. This piece of paper, down through the years, hundreds of years, thousands of years, it's proved it's true. Chamberlain said, I've got his signature. We've got God's signature. He has signed it. He has signed it to us in his word. It is true. My presence will go with you. My grace is sufficient. My supply will meet your every need. So as we go forward, with uncertainty about the future, how will things work out? Let's hold these promises. Let's stand on these promises. And let's show again the, the, the reality, the truth. Let's experience again the truth of God's word in our lives. Thank you very much for listening. And God bless you. And have a good day. Amen.